By the end of Loki season 2, Loki has become a god and an integral part of the stability, of the entire Marvel multiverse. Additionally, Loki seems to have finally figured out, what his ultimate glorious purpose is. Previously, we've seen Loki and the TVA grapple with the aftermath, of the death of the He Who Remains, and the influx of new branching timelines that resulted. During this amazing journey, Loki mastered the passage of time. He can travel to any point in time, even to places where time does not exist. But in episode 6, we can see Loki also can pause time whenever he wants, he has all the powers that He Who Remains Tempad had, he has just became a live action version of He Who Remains Tempad, but the most shocking part is, it was all He Who Remains plan. He wanted to Loki achieve these powers, and take his place in the Citadel. Loki and the others thought increasing the ring size, of the loom will be the solution. So Loki travels back in time, at the events of episode 4, when Victor Timely gets spaghettified. And Loki realizes that they have to send Victor Timely, to the loom before the radiation level gets too high. Then he time slips several times, and tries to make the device as fast as possible, but they couldn't make the device on time. Loki then asked Ouroboros how long it would take him to learn mechanics, quantum physics, and everything that Ouroboros knew about the loom. Victor promptly replied that, it would take centuries to learn all these things, then we see Loki spends a century and finally learns everything, then he time slips again at the events of episode 4, and makes the loom increasing device himself, this time they were able to put the device on the loom, before the radiations kills Victor timely, and successfully the loom ring starts increasing. But later the loom starts to overload again and destroys DVA, then Loki time slips to the events of season 1 episode 6, and tries to stop Sylvie from killing he who remains, when he fails constantly he asks he who remains, why he doesn't do anything and stops Sylvie. Then he who remains explains it was all his plan from the beginning, he knew Sylvie will kill him if Loki doesn't kills her first, and he doesn't kills Sylvie because, killing Sylvie by himself will ruin his plan. He said there is no way to save branch timelines. The loom should always preserve the sacred timeline, even if it explodes. But all of these things he did were to give Loki new powers of time travel, and let him know everything about mechanics, quantum physics, and everything Obi knew about the loom. Because he needs to know all these things, if he wants to one day rule TVA. He explains to Loki that, they can use the loom to save the divine timeline, while all other branches must die. Because without the loom, there would be a multiverse war, and then not even the sacred timeline would survive, and then Loki chooses to break the loop and change the equation, intentionally destroying the temporal loom, while using his powers to save all the branch timelines, becoming a new god as a new and living temporal loom, for the entire multiverse. He gets a golden throne in the citadel, and also get a new horn made by the same material as, he who remains Tempad. He has now became the living temporal loom, and he is protecting the multiverse, by sacrificing everything he cared of, this was always his glorious purpose. So what are your thoughts about this? Do you think Loki will return to MCU again? Let me know in the comments, and watch this video to see, top 5 MCU characters who got pruned by TVA and make sure to subscribe nowhere official and press the bell icon to get notified when I post new videos. See you till next time.